Hey everyone, so if you're wondering what this is, well, Stan Meyer calls it a spherical resonant cavity. And we'll take a look at some of his uh, news release number three. It's from 1986 to 87. And here he talks a little bit about it. There's a picture of it. Funny thing is, we've never seen this in the estate photos. I wonder if it was there or something happened to it. But he basically says it's one of the many different types developed and tested to study the phenomena of resonant action, which produces high amounts of hydrogen, oxygen, gas on demand. So I decided to build one. I designed it in SketchUp first and then built it from there. It was made on the mini lathe. The outer sphere is two inches. The inner one is, uh, I think, three quarters of an inch. And that inner one was a hardened stainless steel ball bearing. They're both made out of 304 stainless. Um, but I had to heat that up to like red hot and then let it cool down in some sand. That softened it enough to drill it. You see the connections there on the bottom. Drilled some little windows as well. And then there's an insulator on that center post. That way it won't short out of the base where the connections are closer. Some cool stuff in the dealer manual as well about it. It talks about uh, megawatt gas shield is the title of this chapter. And there you see one of the drawings of it. Talks about resonant action, the phenomenon he discovered. Some of the charts, spherical resonant cavity. Notice when you charge it up, uh, it would remain charged for a really long time and continue to produce gases. Here's another part here where he hit resonance, geometrical gas shield progression. And he talks about, he shows in here, he only used 48 volt pulses for the spherical resonant cavity. So it's kind of an interesting thing, something I figured. I build when I was bored and I had all the materials to do it so now we'll see how it turned out. The connection for the outer one was difficult. I ended up using a piece of stainless steel wire and just wrapped it around and then this piece just sits on it and then this clamps it all down. But like I said it turned out pretty good. We'll see if it ever works. I've been designing a VIC for it and I probably spent 30 or 40 hours on that VIC design. If it doesn't work, well, it will show me what I did wrong, mistakes I made, and that'll help me learn for the next one. There's the outer sleeve. Fits pretty good, doesn't leak at all. So, anyways, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.